Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah Poet Spice and Poet Spice Biblio Scribe on my writing channel. I am here to do the February, actually not February, I'm sorry, it's actually March. I'm here to do the March um, zine collab that Tina, who is Tell Them Thank You here, is hosting. It's every month for 2018 on the first Thursday of the month. So, the first Thursday happens to be March 1st. Yay! Um, <laughs> so, I'm here to do my zine. Now, um, I said this in my previous video. Zines have come out for the craft community, but they were originally done to showcase writing or photography or art. And so I am using mine as a way to put out some writing. So I will show you my original. It is a poem again, and I used some of my own artwork, and then I used some stickers on the front cover in a lined stamp. But here's the cover of mine, and it says Ask Paper by me, Poet Spice 2018. Um, and you see it's the writing utensils and torn paper edges. And then those are the stickers that I used. And this was just a random cut I had, die cut I had sitting on the floor. And I was like, well, we'll just stick it on there. So there's that. I used some Tim Holtz ink and then these black lines or a stamp that looks like lined paper. So I wrote this poem. Actually, I wrote it yesterday. So that would have been the 27th of February. And I had been watching something or reading something, I can't remember at work, and I had missed, misread what the actual quote was. And it was something about some asking something for paper or whatever. And I thought it says, ask paper. So that just stuck in my head and I was like, well, you know, that, I don't know, it just sticks in my head. Phrases like that do stuff. So I was like, ask paper. I'm gonna write a poem or something that's based on that. So I did. When you open up the covers, it looks like this and you can see where I tore up some paper and I typed my palm out and I ripped the edges so this is the original and here's one of my digital images it's right there and you can get actually I think you can get this one in my shop I don't know um, so it says ask paper by moi ask paper to shoulder my debt make my burden light fill up with the dregs and dredge of my brain and life and heart Bear my weight, carry it forward, hold it in its fibers, hold it tightly, let it not go. Hold fast, strong, close, hold everything, secret, reveal it all to the world once I'm gone. Gone away and nothing remains but the words and cries and pain on the page. And then of course you go to this part. Ask paper, tell it to be my confidant, be my shoulder, my rock, my everything, trite and cliche, and, and and necessary ask p paper say please look it in the eye conjole nudge smile sweetly plead beg scream if need be scream and screech at the top of your lungs at the tip of your fingers at the edge of the pen or pencil or keyboard or crayon draw it write it scribble it paint it do whatever it takes to get its consent and then here's another one of my digital images then you turn go ask paper Ask it to bear witness. Ask it to see and hear and conceal my confessions. Ask it to whisper to itself silently. Let only the sound of graphite and black ink fluttering or crashing down onto it make slight noises. Ask paper. Make sure it understands it must be the keeper, the holder, the architect's library, and the triple locked vault where I pour out my treasures and misadventures and true heart terrors. Ask paper. Ask quickly. Ask intently. Ask immediately. Tell it I need it. Tell it it must submit. Tell it it must... Tell it to be ready. Ask paper. It must fulfill its purpose, must bow to my command and confession, must remain silent yet scream out. Yes, go ask paper. It's my only true friend, my only true legacy, my only true record, my existent archived on pulped trees. So that's my poem. And then these little images here were actually from some kind of paper that someone gave me. And so I just ripped the edges on that too. And then here's the back. And it has a little poem, or not a poem, but a prompt. 
It says, writing helps my soul, it, clo it clears my mind. And then the prompt is, what helps your soul flourish? So you can either write a poem or something like that, or you can leave comments below. And then, of course, there's my information. So here's what my original looks like. And then <coughs> I scanned it in, and I did a little bit of digital work to it. And so now it has a different, a kind of different look. And it has some extra smudging and stuff and different colors in there. So I kind of like how that came out too. And then that's what the inside looks like in comparison. The only thing I'm disappointed in is the fact that my torn edges aren't as torn. But I kind of like the splotchiness that it has. And then there's my image again. And then this page set. And then this page looks like this. And then the back. So you can see how it has like a different color match to it. So there you are. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out the other ladies. If you would like a digital copy, um, I had offered to send out copies last time, but you had to have given me your address or your email address and people said they wanted copies but they didn't give me the information so there are a couple that I have going out in the mail who did and then this time what I'm going to do is offer a digital copy so if you would like a digital copy of this zine then what you need to do is leave me your email address okay so if you're interested in having it then I need your email address so I can send you the digital copy and then you can print out your own. All right, thanks for watching. Go check out Tina and the other ladies and I will see you next month with another zine crazy collab. All right, bye guys.